What's up YouTube, Jade Antastic here, and this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I wanted to start doing some things. <laughs> I want to start some debate-style stuff. Um, well, maybe, I don't know, debate-style, theory-style kind of thing. And uh, to kick things off, I had to start out with Krillin. I actually did a video like this a long time ago, back in my very early YouTube days, so check that out if you want to see how terrible I was at it. But, if you like this idea, if it's something that you think you would be into, make sure you hit that like button right away. And uh, make sure you leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. So, what I'm here to talk about today is how Krillin is basically the best Z fighter out of the entire gang. And <laughs> the reason is pretty solid. Now, you're going to say, obviously, he's not the greatest fighter, he dies a lot, he hardly ever wins a fight, if ever he wins a fight. But, uh-oh. Woo! Um, stick around, you know, hear me out, and uh, see if see if I can convince you. So, when we start out in Dragon Ball, Krillin keeps up with Go uh, Goku, obviously. He's like his training partner. So, as soon as the very first series starts out, Krillin is the strongest human, effectively. Uh, and he can keep up with Goku, no problem. They fight in the tournament together. And uh, Krillin is, you know, he's one of the main characters. He's one of the main fighters. And he holds his own against everyone. And uh, it's really intense. So, you know, right there when the series starts, Krillin is there. He's one of the greatest fighters on Earth. And he's not going anywhere soon. So, fast forward to the Saiyan Saga. Uh, Krillin doesn't really hold too much of uh, a place in the Raditz fight. But that's okay. In the fight against uh, Vegeta and Nappa, Krillin is there and he's ready to fight. He knows that he's not strong enough to fight, but he is there and he's ready to go. And the cool part about it is that when the Cybermen are planted by Nappa, they wreck everyone. Everyone. And, uh, but not Krillin. Krillin actually takes on three, I believe, at one time. Three Cybermen at once. And he beats them. He beats all three of them. Everyone else is getting wrecked by these little green men. And here's Krillin holding his own and just taking on three at once, and he beats them. Now, not only that, Krillin would have defeated Nappa if Vegeta hadn't warned him. If Nappa, because he was too cocky, if he would have let... Why am I not locked on him? Oh, gosh. If uh, Vegeta hadn't warned Nappa, and Nappa would have let the Destructo just hit him, then Krillin would have beat Nappa. It would have, like, sliced him right in half, and that would have been it for that fight. So... If it weren't for Vegeta there, Nappa would have been a goner, and Krillin would have won that fight. Now, he probably wouldn't have beaten Vegeta, obviously. Vegeta was, a, is, was in another league at that point of the series. So, Krillin would have gotten rocked there, and Goku shows up and saves the day. But still, Krillin takes on the Cybermen, could have taken out Nappa, just, you know, kind of had an unlucky bit there where, you know, uh, Vegeta decided to protect his partner a little bit so that he wouldn't have to fight alone. Uh, even though he did end up having to fight alone, thanks to Goku. Then, fast forward again, ow, to Namek, <laughs> uh, and Krillin is there, you know, he's ready to go, he fights with everyone, he fights against the Ginyu Force, he fights against Frieza, and, uh, you know, he doesn't do too well against Frieza, but he does do damage. If you remember, he actually cuts off part of Frieza's tail, which is crazy, uh, because no one else really did that much damage to Frieza, and it's not that much damage, it's not like he got him down or anything, and, uh, yeah, Gohan had that little rush in on him. And, uh, you know, did quite a bit of damage himself. But Krillin actually, you know, cut off part of his tail. And that's a pretty amazing feat, considering Frieza was the most uh, feared tyrant in the universe, I guess you could say, at that point. And Krillin does that damage to him. So, you know, really kind of cool, kind of exciting to see Krillin, the, the weakling, so to say. Um, you know, being able to keep up with Goku and Gohan and Piccolo and the rest of them. And put some hurt on Frieza. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then fast forward again to the Android Saga. Now at this point, Krillin is pretty far behind. Obviously, he's not nearly as strong as everyone else in the series. Oh, what? He just flew away in the middle of that. <laughs> Obviously, he's not as strong as everyone else in the series, but he's still there. He's ready to fight the androids. He knows that he's not that strong. Oh my gosh, that almost killed me. Uh, he's ready to fight. Oh, Krillin died. <laughs> I'm going to have to retry this. <laughs> Loser. See, Krillin dies. But he fought hard. That's the point. So he goes up against the androids. And he's not even scared. You know, he steps up toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, he didn't really have to fight 19 or 20, but he was there. He was ready to fight. And then when it comes time for, like, 17 and 18 and Cell and Perfect Cell, 
Krillin's there and he's ready to fight. And then during actual the actual Cell off. games, right, uh, when board. Cell you know spits out the Cell Juniors. The Cell Juniors are wrecking everyone, and I don't know if this is like a flaw in the writing or like the, the way that the, the series was planned out, but the Cell Juniors are taking on Super Saiyans. They're taking on like Trunks and Goku and Vegeta, and they're just beating everyone up, and uh, it's not looking good for the Z Fighters, and obviously no one's doing well in that fight, but Krillin is there, and he's not winning, but he's keeping up just as well as the Super Saiyans were, and that's why it's kind of weird because obviously, you know, it would be foolish to say that Krillin is as strong as the Super Saiyan because he's clearly not, but he's there and he's putting in work on these Cell Juniors when everyone else is seemingly, you know, struggling, and Krillin is there holding his own once again, uh, so, you know, that's a, a valid point to make, and then once more in the Boo Saga, Krillin actually could have killed Boo, I mean, technically, he got a hit on him, and he sliced him in half. He sliced Boo in half. But, obviously, with Boo's regeneration powers, you know, he didn't die. So you can't really say that Krillin killed him there. But he got a hit off, and actually cut him in half. So if, if Boo hadn't have been able to regenerate, then that would have been a, a win for Krillin. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's all the other fighters. Oh, that's going to hit me. All the other fighters, they kind of whine and complain. They give up. At some point in the series, even Goku, our fearless leader, gives up. He gives up uh, against Cell. He throws Go Gohan into the ring and uh, decides not to fight Cell himself. Says that Gohan is stronger anyway. And uh, and then he also kind of you know starts to cry when he's against Kid Buu. He's got the spirit bomb, and uh, he's all you know, oh this is worthless. We're not gonna win. I'm sad. <laughs> and then he gets all of his power back and he ends up winning, obviously, because Goku's the hero, so he's supposed to win. But the point is, Krillin never gives up once. He knows he's not the strongest fighter. He knows he's pretty weak compared to everyone else. But he continues to fight through all that doubt. As many times as he's been killed, he doesn't follow the Yamcha route and go sit on the couch and watch through the crystal ball. You know, he, he goes out to the battlefield to fight with his friends and help to try to protect and stand up for what he believes in. So that's why I think Krillin is actually one of the better Z fighters, oh gosh, out of all of them, really. I mean, even out of Goku himself, Krillin is up there because he always sticks around and he always helps out his friend and he's absolutely fearless even though he's he knows he's probably going to die in every battle. But he goes out there anyway. So maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe he's just stupid, but... <laughs> so that's my theory. That's why I say that Krillin is probably one of the greatest Z fighters out of all of them. What do you guys think? Do you think that Krillin is one of the, the greatest fighters? I'm going to die again. I mean, let's face it, I am Krillin. <laughs> do you guys think that Krillin is one of the best Z fighters? Do you have respect for Krillin? Oh no. Oh, that's so close. Or do you think I'm crazy? Do you think that Krillin is just worthless and he's right next to Yamcha in terms of <laughs> how useful the characters are. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. If you think I'm dumb, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're enjoying this video, again, if this is something you want to see more, if you want to have more debate-style theories like this, let me know with a like and a comment. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Later.